Hi there. In this tutorial, I show you how to extract a value from a list at the intersection of a column and a row. So in this list, I have different locations and I have some sales transactions for the different month of the year. And then I have two drop lists, a drop list for the location and a drop list for the month. Right now I'm selecting Germany and April. I would like to extract the number at the intersection of April and the intersection of Germany. In another tutorial, I explain how to do that by using a VLOOKUP function. Also, you can do it by using an INDEX AND MATCH function. You can also extract the value at the intersection of a column and a row by using Power Query, and you can also extract it by using a VBA code. But in this tutorial, I'm focusing on a beautiful functionality, the intersector operator. We know that in Excel, we have so many types of operators. What about the intersector operator? Well, let me show you an example. Right now, I would like to extract the number at the intersection of Germany and April. So I'm going to use the intersector operator to do this. So if in any cell I type equal sign, and then I select the entire column for April, and then I type a space. The space is my intersector operator. And then I click and drag to select Germany. And when I do this, I'm done. Look how simple it is. And when I do that, I'm extracting the same exact number. But the issue is, it's not dynamic. So if I change Germany by another country, let's say Holland, or if I change the month, April, and I change it to June, it's not dynamic. We need to create a dynamic intersector operator that responds to the changes in these two drop lists. So I'm going to do that by combining the intersector operator, the space, with naming ranges I would like to name each column by the column header, January, February. So the entire column is recognized by the column header. And I would like to name each row by the row header. So this entire row will be recognized as France and so on and so on. Well, I'm going to do that in one single step by selecting any single cell. And then I want to select my entire list by hitting the shortcut Control A. And when you select the entire list, I'm going to tell Excel that I would like to name each column by the top row and each row by the leftmost column. And I do that by hitting the shortcut, Control Shift F3. When you hit Control Shift F3, the Create Name from Selection dialog box opens. It's also available on the formula tab. All what I need to do because top row is checked, left column is checked. When I hit OK, I would have named all the ranges. Let me check. When I click on the down arrow, I have a huge list of names. So if I select France, France is recognized. If I select February, February is recognized by its name and so on. Now let's use the intersector operator with the new names that we just created. So I'm selecting cell P6 and I'll type equal. And because I want the intersection of whatever comes from the drop list for the location, I click on this cell. And then I type the intersector operator, which is the space. And then I click on the value coming from the drop list for the month. I want to create a dynamic function that changes and returns a different value, exactly like the VLOOKUP and the index function. And when I hit enter, look at that, I'm getting a null value. What's the reason for this? The reason is, when I use the intersector operator by using the value coming from a drop list, Excel is unable to recognize that this is the name of a range. I want to tell Excel, OK, take care. This is a named range. Holland is a named range. And if I change it with another value, let's say Italy, it's a named range. And June is a named range. And if I change it with another month, it's another named range and so on. How do I do this? By putting my formula in the edit mode. And then I want to include each one of these cells in an indirect function. And when I hit tab, I close the bracket after the first cell reference. And then after the space, I include the second cell reference in an indirect function. And then when I hit tab and close the bracket, that should work just fine. And when I hit enter, look at that. I'm getting the same exact result like the index and the VLOOKUP. It's fully dynamic. And when I change to another value, let's select Belgium from the list. And let's select February from the list. It's totally dynamic. The three functions are working exactly the same way. Please let me know in the comment here below 
which method do you prefer? Do you prefer using a complicated function like the VLOOKUP and the index function or using a tool like the Power Query or writing a code in VBA or, on the other hand, using the space, the intersector operator. I have a conditional formatting applied to the list, so whenever I change my value, so I select a different month, let it be June, it's reflected and it's highlighted on my list, so I can recognize where this value appears in my list. If you enjoyed this training video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in our next training video.